Today we're going to discuss writing equations of lines in slope-intercept form when we're given two points. And we're going to look at three different representations. The first is when we have a graph. So here you can see I have a graph which shows how much you have to pay for writing a certain number of carnival rides. To accomplish our goal, we're going to have to remember what slope-intercept form looks like, which is y equals mx plus b. And it has two parts. The first part is the m, that is our slope, and the second part is the b, which is our y-intercept. To get the slope, we just have to look at the graph, pick a point on the left, so this is my left point, and then I'm going to go up or down first, and to get to the second point, I'm going to have to go up, and then I have to either go left or right, and here I'm going to have to go right to get to the second point. Now it looks like I've gone up to and over to, but in fact, my scale on the graph is up by tens here. So this is a total up of 20. And here the scale is up by twos. So I've really gone four to the right. Recalling that slope is the up or the change in y over the change in x. I have a slope of 20 over four or five. So I've got the first value in the equation. I also need the y-intercept, which you can see is not really clear on the graph because we're not given the rest of the graph down here. So we're going to have to get the b through another way. And our technique is going to be writing the equation in another form called point-slope form. Point-slope form looks like y minus y1 times m times x minus x1, where m is still the slope, but now we also have a point in the problem. And that's good because we have a lot of points. We have two right here. This point is the point 410. And I'm going to call the 4 x1 and the 10 y1. Plugging in the values I have now into the equation, I will have y minus y1, which is 10, 5 is my m, and 4 is my x1. Now, if the direction said write the equation in point-slope form, I would be done. But because we want slope-intercept form, we want it to look like this. So to get to there, I'm going to have to uh, simplify this by first distributing. So 5 times x would give me 5x, and 5 times negative 4 would give me negative 20. On the left side, I'm going to leave it alone. And we're close to done, but you'll notice that I'm not supposed to have any numbers around the y. So i got to get rid of this negative 10, and I can do that by adding 10 to both sides. And by doing that, these two numbers cancel out, and I have y equals 5x, and the negative 20 plus the 10 is a negative 10. And this is our final equation. y equals 5x minus 10 is in slope-intercept form, so our slope is 5, and our y-intercept is negative 10, which makes sense. Because if I extend the graph, it appears that the y-intercept is probably about negative 10. In a second situation, we're going to look at what happens if we have two points. So here I've got the points negative 4, 3, and 0, negative 5. And we still want to get an equation of the form y equals mx plus b. So first we need the slope, which we can't get off a graph this time, so we're going to use the slope formula instead, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's. So in these two points, the y's are negative 5 and 3, so I subtract them. And in the points, my x's are 0 and negative 4, so I'll also subtract them, but notice that I'll get 0 minus a negative 4. Negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. 0 minus negative 4 we can simplify because minus a negative is really just plus. So we have negative 8 over 4, which if you divide is really just negative 2. So now we have the slope. But once again, we need to find the y-intercept, so I will write the equation in point-slope form first. And I can do that because I can use this point here. This is my y1, so I have y minus 3 is equal to m is negative 2. 
x will be uh, just x, but x1 will be my negative 4. So just like before, we're going to simplify, but I want to do the minus the negative first. So I have negative 2 times x plus 4. Then I need to distribute on the right. Now I have y minus 3 is equal to negative 2x, and negative 2 times positive 4 is a negative 8. So I'm close to being done, but I still have that number negative 3 here on the wrong side, so I'm going to add it to the other side. Those cancel out, giving us y equals negative 2x minus 5. And that's our answer in slope-intercept form. Now, we could have gotten to this answer faster if we had noticed that this point here is actually our y-intercept to begin with. 0, negative 5 is about right here, and so that was our y-intercept, and you can see that in the equation. But not noticing that, we had to go through the process of plugging into point-slope form to get our final answer. A third and final representation to look at is what happens if you have a verbal model. So here I have a two-hour blizzard that gave us five inches of snow. And as the blizzard went on to a total of seven hours, we ended up with 30 inches of snow on the ground. The key thing to know in a problem like this where you have to write the equation is you're usually given points. And they relate the hours here, too, to the number of inches of snow, five. So we write that as a point, two, comma, five. Likewise, when we had seven hours of snow, or yeah, we ended up 30 inches. So that's another point, 730. So now we're going to do exactly what we did in the last problem, which is we want to write this equation, y equals mx plus b. And we need to find the slope. So to get the slope, I'll use the slope formula, which will be the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's. 30 minus 5 is 25. 7 minus 2 is also 5, giving us a slope of 5. So now we have the slope, but we need the y-intercept. So we'll plug into slope-intercept form, which looks like this. Plugging in what we know, the slope is 5. The point I'm going to use this time is 730, because I want to pick a different point this time. So I've got y minus 30 equals 5 times x minus 7. I want my answer to be in slope-intercept form, so I'm going to have to simplify by distributing on the right, giving us 5x minus 35 is equal to y minus 30. And to get our final answer, we're going to have to move that negative 30 to the right. And I can do that by adding it to both sides. And after doing all that, we're going to have y equals 5x minus 5. And that's our final answer. So that is how you take information from three different representations, graphical, points, or verbal, and write it in slope-intercept form.